I'm all about vibes and the Bay Area is home to so many places with great vibes. Places where I can relax, have fun, and most importantly, disconnect a little bit from the craziness of the world. So let's explore a few of them, shall we? This is Lafayette. just finished the res, the Lafayette res with a girlfriend um, that I actually just met for the first time. Her name was Ashley too, so that was fun. Um, but we chatted the whole time and just did the lower rim and it took us like 50 minutes. So we were walking at a pretty quick pace. Um, I think that next time I wanna try to run it. I've never tried to run the lower rim and it's just been so hot. Like today it was 94 or something and I'm tired. So come and join me. I like to exercise, I like my fitness, it's super close, it only takes me 20 minutes to get there from home, um, the parking is cheap and it feels safe there, um, there's a good mix of like hills and flat road and shade and sun, so it's perfect. finished lunch here at the hideout kitchen in Lafayette super cute little like I like to come here for brunch because y'all know me I like my wine and champagne um, and their brunch is really yummy what I get for brunch is like the veggie omelet and then for lunch I just did the chopped salad with prawns I showed you guys a picture of that I love their ingredients are super fresh you know, the shrimp is cooked perfectly. The salad was dressed well, so it wasn't like too much. I hate when people put too much um, dressing on salads. And the ingredients are really fresh, and it's just a cute vibe. There's always like the same waiter, and he's really, really nice. So come have lunch with me there soon, or brunch. Okay, bye. I have been taking full advantage. I love eating outdoors and Christian's not a huge fan of it, especially if the weather's not perfect. So um, I like that we have to eat outdoors now. I think some restaurants are actually opening indoors, but it's kind of weird. Uh, I went in, they sat us and I was like, mm, it's just awkward. <laughs> it's not like normal anymore. Anyways, here are some tips about how to stay COVID safe and have the best experience while enjoying outdoor seating. One, definitely make a reservation if you can. A lot of restaurants are taking reservations and it's super helpful because then you know what to expect. Two, um, be mindful of other people around you, right? Social distancing, six feet, we all know that. Um, but keep your mask on and have your hand sanitizer and wash your hands and just be aware of your surroundings like more than usual. Uh, three, tip well. I mean, these freaking servers have to walk around in the heat with their masks on and serve us all day long on their feet. So it's already a hard job. It's a difficult industry. Um, it's hard on your body. So tip them well and show them that you appreciate them and, um, you know, give them good compliments and just be super, super nice to everybody because that's who we are. We're nice people. I've sort of tested the waters in like every downtown area. Um, and I really, really love sitting outside and eating good food. And it's sort of been my like sanctuary and my exciting thing for the weekend or date night to look forward to.
it's freezing. <laughs> it's so cold. We just finished eating at Batch and Brine and their food is it's on bomb. point. It's bomb. Nobody cares about what you think. Their food is really good. My battery is dying. Uh, the vibe was cool. The prices are great. But the vlogging sucked. <laughs> right. But my guest appearance today is like failing at life. Um, <laughs> just just come to Batch and Brian with me and try it yourself. Next time I'm going to take your Panda Express. Fuck We're not shit. taking Christian on any other <laughs> vlogging experiences ever again. Ooh, look at this lighting. Thanks, Panda. <laughs> he doesn't think it's funny. Bye, guys. <laughs>